In studio with the Admiral Bill Stubblefield, Maria Lawrenson, and uh, via telephone from Motor Trend, it's Aaron Gold about to announce the Truck of the Year. Aaron, good morning. Thanks so much for joining us today. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Well... I'm reading here that, the, and this is no surprise, the top three vehicles, uh, best-selling vehicles in the country this past year were trucks. And if you look around yep. on the highway, trucks rule. So now you're ready to announce yeah, your truck of the year, right? I am. And I am very pleased to announce our 2024 Motor Trend Truck of the Year is the Chevrolet Colorado. Oh, I see a lot of those around. The Chevy yes, Colorado. Well, wow. Actually- Chevy Colorado, fantastic midsize truck. This is actually the third win for the Chevy Colorado. The previous generation that you see so often has always been at or near the top of its class in our Motor Trend Ultimate Car Rankings, and the new version really builds on the strengths of the previous version. It's got a thoroughly modern turbocharged four-cylinder engine, tows up to 7,700 pounds, and it is fantastic off-road, particularly the Trail Boss and ZR2 versions. Great truck. There were some excellent contenders in this year's Truck of the Year competition, including the the Chevy Silverado HD, the Ford Super Duty trucks, and the amazing Ford F-150 Raptor. But the Colorado really stood out for us because it is so good at so many things. It's a comfortable daily driver, it's a great work truck, and it's a very accomplished off-roader. And that's why it's the Motor Trend 2024 Truck of the Year. Aaron is the senior editor at uh, Motor Trend. What's the price tag on this bad boy? (laughs) Well, pricing is actually more reasonable than you might expect. Starts about $30,695 for the basic work truck. Uh, the ZR2, which is an unstoppable off-roader, one of the most accomplished off-the-shelf off-roaders you can buy, lists for just over $41,000. That's actually much and less yeah, than I thought you would say. The whole model range in between. Yeah, I'm surprised that that price is as attractive as it is. I was going to say, Aaron, does the price play in at all to the, to the selection? <clears throat> Excuse me. Absolutely, yeah. We have six criteria. <clears throat> value is a very important one. Um, one of the competitors was the GMC Canyon, which is a very similar truck, a little more upscale out of the GMC division, but a higher price. And we didn't feel it had the same strong value. It had a lot of the same strengths, but the value of the Chevrolet is really difficult to beat. Uh, Colin, our producers uh, <laughs> are getting ready to put the uh, the picture of the truck up there uh, on our uh, TV yeah, side. The- it's a handsome truck. The, 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 this new aggressive styling is, is one, of the, one of the elements that we really liked. Yeah, good-looking truck. I like that color, too, where you got off your website. <laughs> it's uh, red, kind of like a candy apple red there. Yeah. Right? It looks good in red. We also had one of this, like, this day-glow green color mm-hmm. that was, uh, I mean, you could spot it from space, but we really liked it. <laughs> it was something different. Hey, that's good. Maybe somebody won't hit you then if they can, if they can see you, right? That's what you're hoping for, <laughs> right? It's a safety feature. Yeah. What, so what are the yeah. horsepower and options also- on this? Well, um, it has a single engine, a 2.7-liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine, which is a more fuel-efficient answer uh, than the V6s that, the, that mid-sized trucks traditionally have. But coming up in 2024, they have two options. Basic truck is 237 horsepower, um, and then you can get a version of the engine with 310 horsepower. But, you know, for trucks, the important number is torque, because that's where all the pulling power is. And that more powerful version of the engine turns out 430 pound-feet of torque. I mean, that is like monster V8 territory so uh, and we found one of the things we very much liked about the colorado is that when we loaded it up close to its maximum payload it did not feel overwhelmed handled the load well handled the trailer well very good work truck even with the four-cylinder engine even with a four-cylinder engine more and more the turbo fours are replacing the traditional v6s and even getting into v8 territory and you're going to see more and more vehicles which have turbocharged three-cylinder engines that will replace the big fours that we used to have in our suvs all right. Yeah. Aaron, uh, there's Tesla after several years uh, is, is prepared to introduce their truck. What is the noise on the street? Well, is it viewed as a as a competitor or novelty or what? Well, the Cybertruck is interesting because Tesla has a very different audience than I think the mainstream truck buyers. You know, we've had two electric trucks as our previous truck of the year winners, the Rivian R1T, which is a more Tesla-like vehicle in 2022, the Ford F-150 Lightning in 2023. And the Lightning is just like a regular F-150, but electric and, and faster. Um, I think, for, I think for, for trucks, electricity has some challenges. Range when you're towing or hauling is one. Um, but on the other hand, the power out of them is terrific. Their ability to haul is terrific. You know, I think the Cybertruck is going to probably appeal more to people who are fans of Tesla 
but it certainly shows, you know, Tesla's always highlighted the things you can do with electricity, you know, like a, a you know, a, a pickup truck. I think they said something like as little as 2.6 seconds to 60 in the Cybertruck, which is, that's like drag racing territory. <laughs> Aaron, what are you seeing 2024 as being in terms of the automobile, the truck? Uh, are we moving more toward the electric, hybrids, or still staying with the internal combustion engine? Well, it's interesting because we are going to see more electric vehicles, obviously, including some more affordable models, which the market really needs. But I think you're going to see in this year the automakers getting back to emphasizing their hybrid models, their conventionally powered models, especially these turbo fours and turbo threes. You know, I think that as range anxiety has given way to charging anxiety, I think the buyers need to be reminded that there are still plenty of conventionally powered vehicles that are very fuel efficient. And that's something that people who aren't ready to embrace the EV yet, I think are going to be a lot more comfortable with. You see those networks building out. Do you think Within 10 years, the uh, range anxiety will be, or charging anxiety will be uh, a discussion of the past? Well, I, I would hope so. I think most people who buy electric cars, especially who charge at home, who have uh, what they call level 2, 240-volt chargers at home, I think most of them find that range is really not an issue because you've eventually, essentially got a gas pump in your garage. So they leave every morning with a full tank. Long-distance travel is a bit more of a challenge, and that, that fast charger uh, uh, network still needs some improvement. You know, but I think, I think range anxiety and charging anxiety is something that affects the people who haven't made the transition to EVs yet. A lot of, I have a lot of friends and colleagues who own EVs, and they say it's really not that big a deal. Aaron, we are just about out of time. Uh, where can people go to find out more about the Chevy Colorado and the selection for it as the truck of the year? They can visit us on the web at motortrend.com. Motortrend.com. It was great talking with you. Appreciate you being on the program this morning. Thank you so much for having me on. Really enjoyed it. Oh, one last question. If, if you were to load this Colorado up with every option you could get, what would the maximum price tag on it be? Any idea? Um, I believe a ZR2. I don't think you can get beyond $50,000 in a ZR2. And certainly, if you've got forty, forty-one thousand dollars to spend on a, on one of the LT or uh, Trail Boss models, you're going to have a very nice truck. That's awesome. Thanks so much. I appreciate it. Thank you.